Over 30 years ago, my parents travailed to the United States as undocumented immigrants. By the time I was eight, I joined my parents at the cherry orchards every summer picking alongside them to earn enough money for my back to school supplies. My mother never graduated from college. She never told me why. All I know is when the 2008 Great Recession hit, she was left unemployed with an infant daughter. One major fact has always been true in this country. There is rampant inequality in access to the nation's top colleges. So I, when I was in high school, I needed a miracle if I was gonna be on equal footing. But for today's most promising students from underserved communities, there is Lita. I am so proud to say I'm the first in my family to graduate both from high school and from a four-year university. And I'm back in school working toward a second degree, this time in geosciences with a concentration in broadcast and operational meteorology. Today, I am attending one of the greatest universities in the world, Columbia University. I see, like streams from an ocean, hundreds of places I can go, thousands of people I can be. Should I be a lawyer? Should I be a producer? Should I be a Pulitzer winning author? I finally have options and I have never been freer. Organizations like LIDA that are providing underserved students like the brilliant men and women that we see here this evening with opportunities, leadership and community. And I'm exceptionally proud to say that LIDA never stops evolving and innovating. In January, we just launched LIDA Legal. The program helps our scholars successfully apply to top law schools and establish careers in the legal sector. Whether or not you like it, our futures are fundamentally tied together. So I'll end with an African saying, if you all want to go fast, you can decide not to invest in leader and go alone. But if you want to go far, we have to go together. I'd love to get back to LIDA by mentoring other first-generation scholars and career fellows who face language and cultural barriers as I did. Being a LIDA scholar represents all of the change I want to see in the world and everything I wish older generations could have experienced. I implore all of you today to endeavor to be a part of that change.